Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this new figure unboxing and review we're going to be looking at the Studio Series Bumblebee Movie B127 figure. So what we're going to do with this video, we're going to unbox him live in a second, have a look at the entire contents of the packaging. We're then going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We're going to do some comparisons with him and just a couple of other movie figures and indeed some ones from the generations and his original g1 self um, but as you can tell by the packaging and this particular guy here it's a completely different style of mold and a completely different style of toy so it'll be very very unique and should be quite a bit different to all of them so what we're going to do then first and foremost let's just have a look at the packaging we can see there we've of course got the movie image right there and then if we spin it to the side again you've just got it zoomed in and at the back we can see that it's going to take 20 steps to transform him and i'm really liking the look of what this i suppose cybertronian alt mode is going to look like i mentioned in the other videos regarding the bumblebee movie figures is i suppose they've got a bit of a get out of jail because we never saw them transform into their um modes alternate modes on cybertron did we so um let's have a look at him now i did purchase this from robot recruits and that's who i have to thank for this figure as you can see they got it out to me nice and quickly and safely and um, i actually purchased this um in a quick sale that they did on ebay because again they're an online store and of course they have to get figures themselves and they opened it up and they use this particular guy uh, for all the product images and i suppose the promotional shots so he's brand new but as you can see he has been taken out so he's not held in by the tie wraps i'm just going to quickly take out the gun as well um yeah as i say online store that's where i buy all my things from in the uk to be honest uh, let's have a look at the rest of the packaging if we open up this we've got what is becoming very much near enough the industry standard shall we say backdrop for the uh, bumblebee movie figures and of course we've got the instructions right what i want to do now then is i like to do something called first impressions and the clue is exactly in the title with that so i believe these should be down as well actually so let's just fold these down so let's have a look at him we've got a really interesting and really nice head sculpt there you've got the obviously autobot logo there on the top really nice detail all the way through you like looks like inner working cogs in there so let's have a look at a bit of the articulation we won't spend too much on it because it's a new figure and as you'd expect it's going to have loads yep ball and socket joint on the head so that means you've got full swivel rotation looking up and down same as in the shoulders ball and socket hips ball and socket knees are going to bend ankles are ball and socket you've got a waist swivel bicep flexion the only thing that you haven't got by the looks of this is a wrist movement but you've got again um, elbow and wrist and shoulder flexion so incredibly poseable and as you'd expect for a brand new figure now there's a lot of kibble on the back which obviously looks like it's going to be the front of the car um, things like this to be honest they don't really bother me because um, I for one never ever oh, I'm just loosening everything up here by accident you know I'm never really going to display a figure from the back I mean RC when you're talking about other figures that's perhaps a bit too much but with this guy this bit on the back it isn't too bad and as you can see even balancing on carpet wait I was just about to say it's not going to tip him over but there you go if I stand him properly as you can see he still holds in place perfectly let's have a quick look at the blaster which is there a lovely bit of detail lovely bit of silver chrome on the front there and i think what we need to do now then guys is have a quick look at him in his alternate mode okay so we're back and he's in his alternate mode quick apologies for no transformation process on this video couple of reasons one to keep the length of the video down and two is not to spoil it for yourselves in all honesty it is quite a fun transformation and it's a lot of folding out it can be quite tricky and intricate as well but you can see that for yourselves separately if you don't want it spoiled so as you can see and i'm sure that the camera is picking this up you've unfortunately got this two-tone yellow here that seems to be quite common at the moment um definitely with my other buzzworthy bumblebee origins it's really quite bad and I don't own Earthrise Sunstreaker but I believe it's quite bad on him as well so yeah you can tell I'm really glad you can tell but otherwise I like it I love it in fact I think it looks really really good as I say it is quite intricate if we turn it upside down you can tell obviously they were the fists there's a big gap here where you've got two choices to be fair you can put the gun in and sit it in place underneath like so and it will fit in there you can take it out but the way that it tells you to do it in the instructions which to be honest i think is a little bit more difficult it tells you to actually unhinge the whole front part here let's see if i can do it 
it's really awkward if you haven't got nails it says literally unhinge the whole front part of this fold it back up and then you can attach it in via this so you've got some notches there and some cutouts so we can put these two either side like so and then we can fold it back nice and carefully oh i've just knocked it off straight away anyway let's put it back into position you can see where the cutouts are lining up and then fold it underneath and it should clip into place like so right so let's put that there clip everything back in you'll probably find now that the weapon will come out back from underneath and i'll just put it in the way that i did originally no there we go it's all gone back in no it hasn't there we go so let's do a couple of comparisons now again these aren't going to be the greatest comparisons because this is a sort of standalone figure it's I know they've updated it recently with the Buzzworthy version, but this is completely different to any of the other movie versions that we've had. So what I thought I'd do for a bit of fun is I've got a Transformers Prime version of him, which is a sort of in the middle of, um, yeah, there you go, it's fell out. Um, in the middle between the two, we've got a Generations one, which again is nothing really like it. And I suppose one of the last sort of movie ones, which we've got, which I can do in a bit better, is the um age of extinction one which is the what's it called the evolution one and this is one that's sort of going out as well to being like a cybertronian version of him but let's just move that weapon out of the way let's have a proper look at it you can see the wheels and everything spin around and yeah apart from the color two-tone otherwise liking it translucent there on the roof uh lovely blue um, sorry lovely striping across the top um and there's not much more to say i'm just as i say really impressed with these and i don't want to sound like a broken record but i've only just really started buying the studio series again because i was really impressed with the bumblebee movie figures and this one has not let me down either so last thing to do then is come back again final time in robot mode and let's see how he fares and stands with some of the other cast of that film Okay then guys, back for the final time in the robot mode for some final thoughts and some comparisons. Again, transformation process on a separate video. The only one thing to be, I suppose, truly aware of, and it is quite frustrating, is that these do pop out quite a lot and with hardly any sort of pressure and sometimes even by themselves. Uh, this is obviously what's keeping all the legs all held in and all snug. It doesn't really make too much difference if they do pop open, but it's just something that's, I suppose, a little bit annoying. So with regard to the weapon, if you want to store it, you can literally, there's a huge gap there at the back. You can store it pretty much any way you want. You can push it down through like so at the back like that. Oh, let's get it to focus or you can turn it around that way. And again, it will rest behind his head. But of course, the best place to put it because it's not a huge gun that looks unsightly. It does look good on his hand. And of course, he can then pose with that. Let's do the proper official pose then in the background. Let's make sure we've got no reflection. And again, looks good. Impressed with this little guy. Loving the fact that, I don't know, I suppose since again, I used to buy all the old movie figures. I think they've really upped their game, shall we say. Let's put him like that. Let's bring this down. Let's just have a teeny bit of fun, first and foremost, guys. And that's because let's see where it all began, where it all started. So obviously he's nothing like this. And again, this is because he's in Cybertronian mode. And there's, what, nearly 40 years difference between the two of them. But let's do some more comparisons, which are going to be more relevant. So this is him with Wheeljack. This is him with Braun. And let's move that out of the way. And then we've got Ratchet, who's the bit taller, obviously. And I suppose it's good that he does scale that he's the smallest. Let's have a look at the nest one as well. This guy should just fit in the side. He's actually a bit taller, that version. But of course, still the biggest, until I do the Seeker Jets or the Tetra Jets, is Soundwave. Just look at it it looks brilliant it's such a good effort good effort by hasbro antikara um, and i think to be honest leaving them all like that is exactly how i'm going to end this video great little figure fun transformation displays really well and just looks really good with the rest of these let me know what you think guys if you've got him if you're going to get him um, and what you're thinking of this bumblebee uh, movie toy line it's really really impressive let me know guys take care thanks for watching like and comment, 
and don't forget to subscribe.